Hi everyone, this is Alicia, also known as AVP. Um, thought I'd do a quick video update on everything. Um, so far, I'm still eating less sweet, and I'm also cutting down on my portions, and I'm exercising a little bit more. Also, I'm still doing things like adult coloring, reading a different book every single day, watching a different movie every week. And I just thought I'd do a quick, quick video, and this is just basically my thoughts on how certain books that are made into films are very sim very seldom like the film adaptation. I mean, sometimes they'll leave things out, sometimes they'll put things in that weren't in the book. So, I mean, it can be frustrating for someone that's like me as a reader, so I just thought I'd share that. Also, I was thinking over when I was looking the ratings on the movie The Last of Mohegans because I just read the book today and I saw the movie when I was in theaters when I was about seven years old and I was curious well what was the rating the film rating because there's normally G, PG, PG-13 or R ratings and I looked over the rating and it surprised me it was an R rating and my parents were very incredibly strict with me growing up and for them to take me to an R-rated movie when I was seven, that was actually pretty surprising for that time period because back then in the early 1990s, they were very strict about kids going into the movies if they were underage. And I'm pretty sure that both of my parents were, at least one of them, was required to show ID to prove that they were over 18 years of age, even though they did look it. And they had to verify that, yes, we will be in the theater with our daughter when we're watching this movie. And it was true. When I saw the movie, The Last of the Mohegans, I saw it with both of my parents. I sat in between both of my parents. My mother was on one side. My father was on the other side. I was in the middle. And I think they also told my parents, you know, if there was any scary scenes or anything, you know, to let me know if it was, I thought it was inappropriate. Well... I saw the whole movie from beginning to end at seven years of age, and <laughs> let's just say it didn't do any major damage to me, <laughs> but I do know I saw unofficially about four years of age that I saw one of the Chucky films. I don't remember which one, but I do know that because of my parents being so strict with me, they screened everything I watched, everything I read, everything I listened to. And so for them to take me to an R-rated movie when I'm seven, that's like a bombshell. Like, whoa. And nowadays, parents don't watch what their children watch. They could care less. They'll just say, oh, you can watch that. Just get out of my way. Leave me alone. And so things have changed a lot in over 20 years since that time period. And I'm just thinking, wow, were the ratings were just starting to come out and people were starting to say oh you can't let your child watch this unless you're with your child or unless you screen this i mean when i saw the chucky movie i was over a neighbor's house and their older children were saying well our mom and dad don't care what we watch you can watch whatever you want just watch it but nowadays parents are sort of like that same attitude and it's crazy but Things have changed in some ways, some ways for the good, some ways not for the good. But I just thought I'd share that. And also the inauguration was last week. Good to see a lot of re religious references for a change. And I'm not saying I'm a Trump supporter, I'm not saying I'm a Hillary supporter, but what I'm going to say is this. I think our country needs to become more united instead of divided in these current months and weeks ahead and days ahead. Instead of being divided. I mean, why call ourselves the United States of America if we're not? Don't say something that's not true. So, like I said, I think we should at least give Mr. Trump a fair chance. A lot of people gave Mr. Obama a fair chance. So I think it's only fair we do the same for Mr. Trump. And just pray that God has the ultimate authority and let him run things the way he thinks is best. Alright, well, take care and I will chat again next week. Bye now.